everyone and welcome to Fifth North. I'm Demir and today I'll be taking a closer look at the 30 liter backpack from Peak Design. Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for your continued support. It really is appreciated and does help my channel out quite a bit. So once again, thank you for that. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and giving it a chance. This is Fifth North, my channel where I cover my moto and photo journey. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button for me and there'll be plenty more videos where this one came from. So definitely uh, hang out and check it out. With that being said though, today we are taking a look at the 30 liter backpack from Peak Design. If you have been watching this channel for a while, you do know that I'm a little bit obsessed with camera bags, especially backpacks. So when Peak Design came and said, hey, do you want to review our camera bags? Of course, I had to say yes, because it is sort of my thing. Now, a little bit of foreshadow right there. I did say bags as in plural, which means that we are looking at the 30 liter today, and then we are going to check out the 45 liter next week. A couple of other bags after that as well. So if you're into camera bags, definitely stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and take a talk about the 30 liter backpack. Now, the, the name 30 liter is a little bit misleading because the bag itself is not actually 30 liters. Now, why do they name it that? Well, it's because it's actually the average size of the backpack. The backpack is actually 27 liters or 33 liters. Now you might ask, how can a backpack be two sizes? Let me show you. So if I grab the bag here, we've got it in its regular mode, just a regular setup right here. It's gonna be 27 liters in capacity. If I flip it around, I'll show you I started to unzip right here. This is the expansion zipper. If you unzip that, the whole bag expands, and at that point, it becomes 33 liters. That's how you have the two sizes. Now, with that being said, two things happen when you expand the bag. One, obviously the bag gets bigger. And then two, once it's at that 33 liter capacity, it is now capable of taking the camera cubes that Peak Design makes, and you can actually fit three camera cube units inside the bag. So in the compressed form, the 27 liter, it will not fit the camera cubes in the 33 liter mode expanded, it will. So something to know if you wanna use the camera cubes, that's what you need to do. If you're not familiar with the camera cubes, hang tight. I do have a video coming up on them later on, so just uh, hang tight and we'll cover that in the near future. Now, as far as this bag is concerned, you do get three color options. There is a all black version. There is a sage color, kind of a green, almost going on gray. And then there's this color, the midnight blue. Um, the midnight blue is my favorite color that Peak Design makes. So obviously I got the bag in that color and they do offer it across most of their lineup. So any chance I get, I do grab that color because it is my favorite. With that being said though, let's go ahead and dive into the bag and take a closer look. All right, so let's start with dimensions. On the outside, you are looking at 20.9 inches by 13.4 inches by seven inches, and that's gonna be in the standard mode. If you do expand the bag, which is that zipper right there, um, the depth does expand by almost an inch. Uh, it's gonna go from seven inches to 7.9. So again, standard mode, and then almost an extra inch in the expanded mode. And then if you're wondering what that looks like on the inside, it's gonna be 19.3 by 13 inches by 5.5 again in standard mode if you do expand it it goes from 5.5 to 6.3 so quite a bit more space in that expanded mode now speaking of the expanded mode um, once it is expanded it does have the ability to take the peak design camera cubes it'll actually take three units uh, total so if you're measuring in terms of cube cube units it is going to be three units now the bag as a whole is going to be uh, compliant with international carry-on standards and I can say from experience that it does comfortably fit underneath an airplane seat in front of you so it is going to be a great size for both um, carry-on and for fitting underneath an airplane seat. All right so now that we've covered dimensions let's talk about overall build and materials. The primary materials on the bag pretty much covering the majority of it is going to be a 100% recycled 400D nylon canvas shell. Keep in mind this is DWR impregnated and double poly coated, which makes it extremely water resistant and weatherproof. Now keep in mind, weather resistant, or I'm sorry, weatherproof and water resistant, but not waterproof. Now the part that is waterproof is gonna be the bottom. You'll notice the bottom has a different kind of a shine to it and that's because it's a different material. The bottom is actually 900D versus the 400, it's a lot tougher, a lot stronger, and it is waterproof. So Peak Design obviously knows that the business end of this bag is the bottom, 
that's where you set it down. That's where most of the impacts happen. That's where, you know, if you're gonna set it down on like wet ground or whatever, they want the bottom to be extra protected. So they definitely made sure that was the case. You do have the 900D, which is fully waterproof on the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware here. Um, these burly suckers right here are number 10 zips. Um, quite large, really strong, tough looking zippers. All the hardware in the bag actually is anodized aluminum and um, glass reinforced nylon. So really tough stuff. And then just looking at them, I mean, they're big, burly, tough, really strong, big zippers. So you do have that confidence that your bag's gonna stay closed. So when you do load it up with your expensive gear, there's no fear of the zippers failing. So definitely great work by Peak Design by putting these big suckers on there and then speaking of the zippers the zipper pulls are hypalon and then they do offer this really cool feature here um, you guys can see this little um, button or i guess kind of spot where it attaches all the zipper pulls you can unattach like this and you get a full long piece and then what you can do is actually either drive it through the other loop or through the actual metal part on the zipper and if you do that it's not theft proof but it is quite uh, theft deterrent because it makes it a lot harder to pickpocket and force the zippers open to possibly steal or take something out of the bag. So once you, what you do basically is you run it through there and now the zipper can't open that far because it's stuck with that part right there. So really cool feature. Um, every single Peak Design bag that I have has this feature, so I do appreciate that. And then another nice touch on the bag is all the anchor points and all the other stress points are reinforced, so definitely will last a lot longer for you because they were you know, thought out of, hey, this is gonna be a, an impact point or a stress point, let's make sure it's stronger. But regardless of that, the entire bag does have a lifetime warranty, so you can count on this bag lasting you a very long time. All right, so taking a look at the front of the bag, I really like how minimal and quite frankly blank the front of the bag is it doesn't really give away that it's a camera bag or, or you know any sort of a specialty bag unless obviously you know the peak design brand so i like that it's very simple clean not a lot not a whole lot going on and speaking of the peak design brand even that's pretty minimal it could have been a large logo or something crazy but very minimal and simple so i do love that now the cool thing about the front of the bag give a couple of features that you'll notice right off the bat there are these anchor points that I mentioned previously. You do have them at the bottom. You'll see them here, 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 and here. And they're actually featured throughout the bag. So you have multiple different ways to use these straps that came with it, uh, with the bag. These are um, straps that basically you can use for any sort of external carry that you might have. Very simple. Um, you have these little clips or clamps or whatever you want to call them, but they basically just slide in. You put, um, you put them underneath the uh, anchor point here slide it, click it in, you hear that click sound and you're good to go and they basically hang and you can cross them, you can thread them whichever way you need to, but all across the bag, you do have that functionality. Now, the cool thing about them is when you're not using them, you might think they'd be easy to lose because you're sitting there going, well, where do I put them? Well, that's where this uh, pocket comes in here. You can actually slide them in underneath and then this pocket is actually magnetic. You guys could probably hear that. And now they're hidden whenever you need them pull up the magnets, pull out the straps, lay them whichever way you need to, and you're good to go. All right, so moving on from the front, we go over to the side. Um, the side does have these handles right here. There's one on each side. Nicely reinforced, good grab handles. And the cool thing about the grab handles is they're actually one on each side, plus you have one here at the top, and you've got one at the bottom as well. So there's actually a, a grab handle on every side of this bag, which makes it super convenient, easy to grab, Regardless of what you're doing, it's very easy to get to. And then also on each side, aside from the anchor points that I already mentioned, again, they're featured everywhere. You do have these large pockets. They are uh, a stretchy fabric material with a really strong stretchy bit here. These are gonna expand quite a nice size and they're perfect for water bottles or tripods. And then the cool thing is if you do put a tripod right here, you can run a strap if you wanna secure it. So really thought out well. Um, and then you'll notice there's a little bit of a scuff mark right here. Um, I think I ran it against my uh, wall or something like that, but I, I did want to point that out for a reason. I want you guys to know that I don't just video these bags and talk about them. I do actually use them. So a lot of times when you see my videos, whether it's moto gear or photo gear, it'll look sometimes used. And that's because it is because I've been riding in it or using it, or in this case, traveling with this. So I do give you a review that, um, you know, that is from true experience. So, all right, so let's go ahead and move on to the back. So the back, one of the main things you'll notice is that it does have these shoulder straps. 
They are uh, gently padded. They're not super thick, but they are padded enough to be comfortable while still being pretty thin. So they don't take a ton of space, which is good. Um, these are really great because of two reasons. One, um, I do like a good uh, sternum strap. This backpack does have one. It is adjustable and removable. So if you're not a fan, very easy to take off. Just these little clips right here that just pull off. And then if you put them on, you can notice there's different levels that you can put it on to kind of get the height right for you. So I do like when there's a sternum strap. Number two thing, and I probably should have made it the number one thing, it's the coolest part about the straps, is they're actually axially mounted. What that means simply is they rotate. So most backpacks, the straps will be stitched in, so they're kind of stuck. And depending on your body type, that might not be that comfortable. So having this little uh, radial piece here, or, or axial mount, you can easily rotate the straps, which makes it much more comfortable when you're wearing the backpack. The other thing that it allows you to do is you actually can fully hide your straps. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is actually a magnetic panel here. You lift that up and you can actually slide your straps all the way in. Now your straps are completely hidden. Now where this might be inconvenient is you're like, well, how do I grab the bag then? Well, don't forget, you've got the top handle, You've got the bottom handle and then look at that another handle right here in the middle so if you want to grab the bag this way because the straps are put away you have it now you might ask yourself why would i put the straps away well very convenient reason for that if you are checking this bag in less straps to get caught on the conveyor belts if you are putting it in an overhead bin easier than having straps flapping around hitting you, hitting you in the face while you're trying to put the backpack in also on top of that it won't get caught in other people's bags or the most convenient spot for me is if you are going to put it underneath the seat in front of you, nothing to get caught, nothing to get trapped, your feet won't get stuck on it, tuck it in nice and clean, grab it like this, slide it in, and you're good to go. So a lot of really cool, thoughtful pieces there on the back of the backpack. Now another cool thing that I like, again, very minimal logo here. You do get a little pocket here as well. It is Velcro and it's uh, about the size of a credit card. And this is where you can put your um, ID tag. And then the other cool feature is this is actually a luggage pass through as well. So when you are traveling, um, you can use this strap as a luggage pass through, which helps you put the backpack on a roller in case you want to walk a little faster through the airport. You got too much stuff going on. You just attach it to the roller and you're good to go. All right. So now we're going to make our way to the inside. And if you actually start off on the front here, there is a pocket on the front, um, very, you know, nice little zipper here, opens it up. And then if we open it, it's not too massive. It's, it's a good size, but not like a huge pocket. It's not definitely the main pocket. What I like about it though, is it's kind of your quick access because you have a couple of things you can do here. One, you've got the main area to put stuff in. Then you'll notice there's these divided kind of stretchy uh, pockets. You've got three on one side, two are bigger, one's a little bit smaller. This is great for like your mouse, your power cord, sunglasses, pens, pencils, Apple pencils, whatever, it all fits in there, great. Main pocket can hold everything else, snacks, you know, what have you. And then you have another pocket behind this zipper. And this to me is a place to put like smaller things and things that maybe need to be a little bit more secure. But then also inside that pocket, you've got a couple of more little stretchy dividers um, this is great actually if you want to pop an uh, Apple AirTag in here or uh, AirPods or any other small headphones like Buds or any other small things like SD cards, you know, whatever you might have that can all fit in there and be nice, nice and secure. So once we open it up, you've got a couple of things going on here. Um, I'll get this, let me get this flipped around, make it a little bit easier. All right, so a couple of things going on. You do have these large mesh pockets. Um, obviously one above the other. These are pretty deep um, and, and they can hold quite a bit. So you can actually fit quite a bit in there. Obviously the second one right here, but then you also have the pockets on the side. These pockets are a little bit more shallow, but big enough to fit a phone. I actually fit my uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max in this pocket. So there's definitely space there. And then a little bit of a divider for another small pocket. You do get those two on each side. So a total of four pockets there or I guess technically one big pocket with a divider, so depending on how you want to count it, but still, you know, divided pocket, divided pocket, two big pockets, divided pocket, divided pocket. So plenty of space to store things, keep things organized. You'll also notice these little black parts right here. This is where your camera cubes clip in to keep stuff from flying around. So I did mention earlier, three units of camera cubes, they do clip in right there. Now, the cool thing about this backpack that I like is there's no dividers, just a big empty space. So if I have larger gear, clothes, anything bigger, it'll fit in here great. But then if I do want that organization, safety, 
you know, kind of dialed in feel, that's where the camera cubes come in handy. And again, I can fit three in here, attach them, everything's safe and secure. And uh, we'll dive into more detail on the camera cubes in an upcoming video. But that gives you a rough idea of what the interior looks like. Now, moving on from this part of the interior, we're gonna go to, let me get that arranged here. We're gonna go to the top part or the opening flap of the interior. Cool subtle logo here, a little bit of peak design, tells you what the backpack is, obviously travel backpack, 30 liter. There's two pockets in one, so you'll notice the Velcro, the strap keeps it closed when you open it, and let me see if I can get you guys a better angle here, something like this, okay. When you open it, you've got the big main pocket. This is gonna fit a laptop. It'll fit a 14 inch or a 16 inch MacBook Pro, and then you have another smaller pocket and this is going to be your document or your tablet pocket. For the tablet pocket, you've got 9.5 by 7.5, which does fit a pretty wide range of, of uh, tablets. So definitely some great work, again, on Peak Design's part to give you some functionality as far as, you know, carrying your electronics and then obviously other gear uh, with you as well. Overall, the 30 liter travel backpack from Peak Design is a great bag and I do highly recommend it. At the time of this recording, it does retail for $229. 95. I do think that's fair value based off the quality of materials, the build quality, the features, and then obviously that peak design lifetime warranty. Um, also keep in mind this bag is fair trade certified and is 100% carbon neutral. So I do appreciate that as well. So far, Peak Design is two out of two for me with the bags. I really enjoyed the uh, 65 liter duffel bag that I reviewed last week. And then obviously I'm a big fan of this 30 liter travel backpack. Let me know your opinion down in the comments below. Which bag is your favorite? What color would you get? And just your thoughts overall, and maybe we can start a conversation. With that being said, if you haven't already, hit that like button for me as it does help my channel out quite a bit. And then obviously if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well. That way you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos that I have, both for photo and moto. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.